Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video we'll cover a lens which I recently bought which is the Lawa 17mm f1.8 prime lens and I actually bought it because I was thinking of getting either the, the Olympus 17mm f1.8 lens or either this one and I decided to finally opt for this uh, lens because it was a little bit cheaper. The only thing is it doesn't have any automatic focus, it's actually only manual focus. So, so what I've got here is I've got the, the box and I've got the lens itself so so I thought I'd show what's in the box kind of roughly first off. So uh, putting the lens aside, the box itself is actually very nice. So I'll actually open it up. And uh, inside it's just, just your kind of kind of standard stuff. Guarantee card. Presuming this is uh, some kind of manual guide um, to show you how to actually use uh, the lens. Quality certificate card. They seem to be quite interesting in their certificates, don't they? So, yep, there's that. And um, last but not least, there's this, which um, I've already had a look at this. This is actually basically just a kind of order list of their lenses, a kind of range of the lenses that they have available of like different primes, like the 7.5 7 f2, and that's kind of like a fisheye. I think it's an ultra wide angle lens, so. It's an 9mm lens, that's another ultra wide lens. Um, you've also got um, a 10mm, and this is, of course, the one I've got, which is a 17mm f1.8. And uh, yeah, and there you go, that's a 50mm macro, so yeah, there's plenty of choice there uh, from their line. I think they actually do quite good quality lenses overall. Well, now that I've got the box out of the way, I thought, I thought I'd now take a quick little look at the lens, just to kind of show it very briefly. Now, actually, I've got it here the the lens suit that comes with it in this, I have to say, ranks is probably the single tiniest lens that I've ever seen for any lens. In fact, I'll try and screw it on so, just to see, give you an idea of how small it is. So, so yeah, so that's it there with the lens suit screwed on. And uh, yeah, it is actually very tiny. <laughs> it's amazing just how tiny it actually is. I'll also include some of the pictures I've taken with this lens in the video as well, just so you can have a look at it. Obviously, I'm not going to just yap on about the lens uh, throughout the whole video and not show some images. Yeah, so I'll definitely include some shots of this lens here in the video. So I'm now taking the cap off and I thought I'd quickly show the fact it is of course a manual focus lens. As you can see here you've got like the aperture numbers which is uh, for example you've got like F. You can basically just adjust the aperture manually so obviously the camera's not going to show you um, the aperture. They can't control, well yeah the camera can't control the aperture naturally you have to do this manually. So starting, it starts with F1.8 and then goes up to 2.8 and then it goes all the way up to 22 f22 so generally when i'm using it i'll keep it at either um, f 2.8 or i might use it f 5.6 and generally that's kind of the the go-to aperture for a lot of um, photographers anyway so it's also got manual focus settings on it as well here i think like there's ones for like uh, certain feet and there's one i think for infinity so if you're focusing on the subject from very far away you would obviously probably use the infinity setting just to get it in focus um, generally speaking as I said you can actually quite easily use uh, the, the manual focus in this lens just to get everything in focus if there's one criticism I would say of this lens though in terms of its focus it doesn't nail the focus manually 100% of the time I think that primarily comes down to also maybe a little bit of user error on my part because I've taken a few shots with this lens where some of the images were a bit out of focus, a bit blurry, so I think that probably boils down to me just not kind of getting my focus right. But that aside, it's actually been a very easy little lens to use and I've actually really enjoyed using it as well.
right guys, well that's it for the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's just a quick little video of what I'm doing on this lens because I've actually really enjoyed using it. And I thought it'd also be good to show some of the images that I've taken with it. And obviously for its compact size, it's well suited to the Micro Four Thirds system, which I use it on. And yeah, so yeah, I'm very impressed with the lens. And, and if you do manage to get a wee bargain for it and buy it second hand or get a good price, then I definitely recommend picking it up. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till the next one, this is Kenny saying bye for now and I'll see you soon.